In this video tutorial, we will discuss Java programming method overloading and overriding concepts with very easy to learn examples. Method overloading and overriding are very important topics of Java programming. There are two ways to learn this, theory based and practical based. I'm going to use practical way, learning with easy example. I'm sure that at the end of this demonstration, you will be able to understand this theory concepts. I will be using NetBeans ID to explain overloading and overriding concepts of Java. I have started NetBeans IDE. Let's create new project. Select Java and Java application. Give appropriate name. Let's give project one. Keep rest of the parameter as it is. Select your destination folder, finish. We have project one ready. To understand overloading and overriding concept, I am going to create class A in this project. Class A. Just removing extra lines. Let's declare one public void add method with two integer arguments let's declare one sum variable a plus b and let's print this sum sum is sum now we will create one more add method but this time with different signature two double variables as a parameter and appropriate changes in the function sum of two double variables is sum we will also create one more add method but this time with three variables as parameters plus c and sum of three int variables. So now we have three add method with different signature in this class A. Now we will create main method. We will create object of class A obj equal to new A. And now we will call these add methods to see its implementation. obj dot add. First we will pass two integer parameters. In second call we will pass two double values and in third call we will pass three integer parameters depending on the type of data which we are passing in this function corresponding method will be executed so let's run this code now This is the output of our program. Let's summarize Java method overloading. In our program, we have created one class with three add methods in it. Method overloading is a concept of Java in which we can create multiple methods with same name in the same class and all methods works in different ways. This type of method is called overloaded methods. In our example, add is overloaded method. To understand Java method overriding concept, let's create one more class in the same project. I'm going to create class B. Class B is created 
now let's extends a so class b is now child class and class a is parent class for this let's create one add method in class b with same signature but to make this add method part of this class b specific implementation let's write it something like this sum from class b add method to understand implementation now let's create one main method in class b we will create two objects in this main method object 1 of class a object 2 of class b and then we will call add method of object 1 first pass two integer parameters and then call add method using object 2 and again pass two parameters to it here we are calling add method of class a and here we are calling overridden add method of class b now let's run this file here is our output quickly summarizing our discussion add method of class b is overriding the logic which is written here in add method of class a to summarize in java if child class has same method as declared in the parent class it is called method overriding in our example we have declared one class a containing one add method then we have created class b which is child class of class a in child class we have declared one method called add and then we are using this add method along with object of class b so in other words if the same method is defined in both parent class and child class then child class method overrides the logic written in parent class method so when we execute this add method using class b object it will execute the code written here which is overriding the code written in this add method thanks for watching